Hello world, it's Justin, and I just wanted to talk about home design. Before us right here is a manly kind of dresser. It's not built out of tree corpse or particle board or any of that wooden shit. It's built out of steel. And it kind of makes me feel a little bit more manly than the other shit. It's non-flammable. Typical handling capacity, so about 90 pounds per drawer, so it's perfectly adequate for clothes. Typically used for files. There's built-in systems that come with these things where it's got a rear rail and you can have all kinds of little dividers in the middle. So if you like to divide all your shit, then that's your choice. But if you're a man, then you just shove all your fucking shit in there because you don't give a fucking shit how it looks. And you're done. And um, they often have locking mechanisms so that you can't open two drawers at the same time. So you have to go in there and actually disable them. Um, oftentimes there's a rail. It, I already took it out, so I don't have that issue. But oftentimes there's a rail on the side with like a, a wire linkage. So you'll have to fish around in there and look for it. In the rear, you're going to want to put some counterbalance. A cheap counterbalance is just a, like a sheet of drywall back there, and it helps help deaden noise as well. Um, now, the tops of these things are a little bit louder than a wooden dresser. And depending on the unit that you purchase, it could have reverberation issues where it wasn't designed to be quiet. The Han 600 and 6000 series file cabinets have very ex excellent sonic and um, friction characteristics. Um, this drawer takes approximately 0.3 pounds of pressure to open. Um, but when they're heavy, more heavily loaded, they can take about one pound of pressure to open, which is pretty minimal. And since it's lightweight, it has a high strength um, strength to weight ratio. So since it's lightweight, it's easy to it doesn't take much force to accelerate and decelerate the drawer. Um, this particular Han 600 series file cabinet uh, registers at about 73 decibels if operated quietly, and if operated more quickly, it's uh, it's higher. But every file cabinet is going to be different. These ones aren't bad, but there, there are other file cabinets that are bad. So you're going to want to pay a little bit of attention when you go to purchase one. They're not all built the same. So you want a counterbalance in the rear. You're going to use some self-tapping screws through something heavy. And uh, disable the linkage. And if you want to paint things to match, you can go to a paint store, not Home Depot. A paint store, and they will color match oil-based paint for you. And they did an excellent job. I just took the drawer face off with uh, a few screws. I just took the drawer face off with a few screws and I brought it in and I just left it there and then they color match the oil based paint. They don't really like to color match oil based paint because they have to wait longer for it to dry, but they'll do it. And it was well worth it in my case, as far as I'm concerned. So now I have a sort of minimalistic, um, very highly functional uh, set of dresser drawers. That one was $20 and that one was free. And most of the other file cabinets I have are free. So it can be a really affordable option because people just don't realize that they can use them as actually superior performing dressers. What I like about these things is they don't contribute to house fires, they're non-flammable, they don't have these wood joints um, instead of things shattering like they do with real wood, or instead of glues delaminating like, like you have on particle board and other bullshit. Um, you've got bent metal and then tack welds and rivets. So very serviceable, very functional. Um, designed for far greater loads than are being experienced in your day-to-day -day activities and they have superior space efficiency. So strongly recommend using a steel lateral file cabinet as a dresser.